Hey, Pure Hope from the Pure Love Foundation here at the Pure Love Kingdom. Oh, this is only my third video or so on here. And uh, I feel like a lot's happened, but I don't know. Um, one of the big things that kind of uh, came to light this week, actually we've been working on it for a couple weeks, is a letter that uh, a really good friend, very powerful female that's going to be joining us in our business and helping other women here that find us. And uh, her name is Nicole. And so uh, whatever I talk about today, I want you to also go check out that letter. It's called A Letter to a Narcissist by Nicole, Goddess Nicole. Now, um, the wig that I wear in that one is our self-confidence and love self-love coach. So she has like a different wig and um, her name is Pure Beauty. So this would be a next step for you to take. Um, watching Pure Beauty's videos. They're all in a playlist. Uh, this is only exclusive content for YouTube. So if you go to our playlist, you will see all my videos on Pure Hope and you will see all of Beauty's videos. <laughs> I mean, like I I tried to make the title as clear as I could on the playlist, but you can see all 14 different characters and figure out which one is going to lead you to the next step. But I'm going to give tips here as well. So um, I read her letter and it was a, a 12 minute letter. And of course there's like stuff on the front end and back end. So it's a long video. It's like one of our longest videos on our channel, like 26 minutes. But what I want to recommend for you is to start writing as well. If you have been through some kind of emotional and sexual abuse and the two kind of go hand in hand, I mean, we're not, we're not talking about emotional abuse from like a parent. Um, although like, you know, like if you had a narcissistic parent, then maybe, um, we really don't talk a lot about a narcissist here. We more talk about, if we talk about it, then it's like, we all have narcissistic tendencies. So maybe next week I'll be sharing um, a couple books that I have, a few books that I have on the shelf, because that's kind of my department to go into because it explains um, the way that they think and feel and uh, how they treat us in the bedroom. So we have become a little more clear on what it is and who we are here to serve. And rather than just like a one-time rape situation. Yes, I've been there. I know how that feels. But we're more about a long-term, emotionally and sexually abusive relationship. So because all of the people that are not me we have three teammates, three other females that are coming on to our team. And every one of them has been in a very, very extremely toxic connection anywhere from three years to 17 years. So we're going to be doing some podcasts, joint podcasts. Um, my roommate might be showing up. Um, and we haven't come up with a list of things to talk about yet but because we have a lot of spiritual conversations, but, um, I have no idea where that's going to go. But what I'm saying is not only do I have experience being in, uh, about three toxic connections, two in the last three years, one super, super toxic, um, we could give it a label of twin flame. We could give it a label of narcissist, whatever. 
it's, they're not all my stories. What I'm saying is when I show up as any character, there's going to be stories that I share that are mine and also others, which leads me into, if you have a letter that you would like to write and that you would like to share, so write it down and then share it. If you don't have anybody to share it with because you feel like nobody's going to understand and nobody's going to care, I care. Send it to me. Um, I should put like a, an email down below this video and I will read it. And uh, if you would like us to publish that on our channel, me here, um, it possibly might be Pure Beauty. I'm not sure because um, she's kind of doing this take on Beauty and the Beast in our kingdom. So we might start doing other things with her, like putting her in a setting with like a whole bunch of the candles and uh, maybe having, I don't know, like the set could change for her. She's our wardrobe girl, but we all wear kind of multiple different hats because I'm like saying right now to you, like, right, but... There's also all different other tips that I'm going to be giving that are creative art forms to heal from sexual and emotional abuse. And so, um, so just, you know, like you could say, I'm just a writer. No, I'm actually not the designated writer. We have an erotic writer here in the kingdom. Um, I'm not just, you know, the pure love or there is no pure love. <laughs> This is a pure love kingdom. Um, but we have multiple different girls and like we all have about five to 10 different topics that we talk about. So my approach is more of healing from sexual and emotional abuse through the creative arts. That's my little tagline. And so this week I want to talk about writing. I know that this has been really healing for Nicole. She also started a podcast a year and a half ago. I told her, start talking. I was talking. I was writing. That's how about 15 months ago, it was longer than that. It was about six months into some emotional sexual abuse. Um, a year, a year. So two years ago, I started writing. I've always been a writer, but I wrote more educational stuff and step-by-step instructions on sewing. And so I started writing my thoughts and making sexy videos. Uh, like I went off the deep end, but, um, I know you wouldn't think that looking at me now, but, um, but now I write more like in different ways, but I do it through like a podcast. Like I'm writing a book right now and I have several books that I want to write. So we're not talking about a book though. I'll make another episode on that if that's, if you want to be included in a book, maybe you could let me know that. But for now, I can always reach out to people. This video is going to be up for a while. I'm not taking it down. It's part of our weekly thing. But um, for now, if you would like me, if you need somebody, if you want to get your story out, because it's going to help heal. You can't keep it all bottled up inside of you. You're going to, I was just going to say, you're going to fucking die. You really are. <laughs> We're all going to die. But like, do you want to die sooner? Or do you want to release some of this pain? And I'm giving you an opportunity to share it with somebody. And I'm not going to judge. I understand. I've been, everybody in my team understands. Uh, right now it's just me reading it. But when we release that, more people are going to read it. And maybe in a way, those other people that are reading it, even if it's a small audience right now, don't worry about it. It's going to grow. There, there's going to be people that see it. Might not be a lot. So if you need a pen name, give me your pen name. If you're okay with letting your name out there because you don't feel like you're in harm by this person anymore, then that's fine too. It doesn't matter to me either way. It's what's comfortable for you, but 
I know how powerful it's been to write. And it's even more powerful when you can get on video and talk. Um, and hey, I also understand that sometimes we are telling a story that's too personal and that we cannot show our face. We cannot speak about it because maybe we're crying the whole time and we cannot, all we can do is write. So, um, I think it was like, a, it was 10 pages in a text message that she, she sent to me, uh, Nicole. And so that was pretty long. Um, I don't actually write that long, but, um, so yeah, that's basically what I want to say, you know, share your letter of emotional and sexual abuse with us and we will share it with more um we'll share it with the world if you're not comfortable doing that i mean you have to be comfortable with whether like there might be just 10 people that see your letter but eventually there might be thousands of people that see it and if it eventually goes into a book there could be millions of people that see it so you have to be comfortable knowing that you're releasing this to the world for anybody. And the point of doing this is to help yourself. You're healing yourself. You're letting that out. So it's not creating blockages in your chakras and you're helping to heal other women too, because maybe you have a story that relates to them. Maybe they can just read it and be like, wow, girl, feel you like I literally have goosebumps on my arm you can't see it my hair just stood up when I said that like there's power in this there's power in releasing your pent-up emotions through writing through creative work through anything it frees you so I'm giving you your first ticket to freedom all right. I don't think I need to say anything more. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see your letter come by my desk. And uh, I wish for a quick healing in your life. And I hope that writing this letter, whether you write it yourself and keep it to yourself, or whether you release it on your own and share it with other people, or whether you'd like to share it with me, and the people that I'm in connection with. All right. I love you, girl. Bye.